So, Emizio, show us how it's done. Hello, AGQ 2023. This is Rockman ZX and present by Amesho. I'm Iki, and joining me on commentary is Meta. Hey, uh, let's I'm uh, Meta X. Let's get this run started, Amesho. Are you ready? Uh, okay, okay. Uh, <sighs> so, three, two, one, go. All right. Right off the start, we already skip a cutscene that will be important throughout all the game. And we just get access at the start to models, Model X, which has a basic buster char charge shot with two double busters. Yeah, it's, it's basically um, if you play Mega Man X2 and then get the buster upgrade and nothing else, that's basically what uh, we're starting off with in this game. So the next boss will already showcase how RNG works in this game. So we just keep another cutscene here, and every time the game has goes through, goes through a load screen, it kind of resets the RNG to a default value. So we already know what this boss is going to do. Even that lemon was to manipulate him, so he stays on screen for one more attack, so we can kill him one, one attack, one second faster. Very nice kill on the first boss. So right now we get access to two missions. They are kind of a two, kind of tutorials. And this game is a Metroidvania, so we'll do them on a specific order to save time traveling through the world. Yeah, this mission, it's um it's kind of a bo more boring part of the speedrun, but it's there to teach new players um, about some of the mechanics of the game. Like, we're going to walk through the city, and um, so it basically teaches you about interacting with NPCs and exploring the city and all the people you can meet. And also, um, what these people are telling the player is that most human characters are going to be scared if you approach them while transformed into this uh, kind of battle form. So you're going to need to transform to your human form to uh, talk to most people. And another thing human form can do is it can crawl, as you can see right here. Um, and that's the reason why Ale is the pick over Vent uh, for the speedrun, is because Ale crawls a little bit faster. Yeah, that's kind of funny. It's the only reason. The other difference is she's, she gets knocked back on hit more. But I think overall it kind of helps us, <laughs> because we do some intentional damage boost through the run. Yeah. But yeah, like like Meta said, uh, this is I would call this the boring mission because all we have to do is just talk to some guardians. I think we can read some donations. Absolutely, we have a uh, fifty dollar donation from Anonymous with no comment. Uh, we actually have several fifty dollar donations from Anonymous with no comment. So we had three uh, three of those, and another fifty dollar donation with no comment from D's. So uh, thank you so much for those. Remember, we do have some incentives open, and uh, we are trying to get that Mario Kart 8 Deluxe bonus game. It's a $1 million cumulative donation, so every donation you make goes toward that. All right, so this is kind of the end of this first mission. And this game, we get missions, and we have to accept them on the trans servers. And you'll notice this next trans server is a red one. So this game has two kind of trans servers. There's the red one, that's this one, and the yellow one. Only the yellow trans servers you can transport to and transport transport from. So that will be key to some of the routing of the, the speed room. Yeah, and I guess uh, we can give some background for the game. Uh, so this the Mega Man ZX, it takes place um, a few hundred years after the Mega Man Zero games, which take place a hundred years after the Mega Man X games, which take place a uh, hundred years or at least several decades after the classic games. Um, and basically in this game, um, you know, it's the first one where you can kind of play as a human, but basically you kind of use these objects that sort of have the powers of past heroes imbued in them called biometals. And so obviously... Yeah. Oh, yeah. We should probably mention this fight, the uh, the three cycle. Do you want to explain that? Yeah. So you may have noticed a shot against this dog before. So 
the the second charge shot has those pink blasts as orbitate the blue shot. If the blue shot is destroyed, the pink shots will just ricochet. And that ricochet you can combo into the boss with the boxes. Sadly, I managed to just missed and and he got the got the, the worst miss because only the box combos, uh, the combo, the the box only combos before the pink blast. But he hit the pink blast before the boxes, so he did less damage. So if he didn't get the trick two of the three times he tried, he would have a five cycles actually and would be slower. But the, the intention there was to get a three cycles boss fight, but he ended up with the four cycles, which is the intended boss fight. Yeah, it, it's a really hard trick, but it's pretty much the only thing you can do to speed up that boss fight. Yeah, and it saves 10 seconds. When we found that, it was kind of crazy because the idea of ricocheting and comboing with the boxes is, is kind of crazy. Yeah. It's really cool, really cool boss fight. But yeah, that was, uh, we just visited the Guardian HQ. They're basically like, sort of like the modern day Matter Hunters. Um, and we'll be going back there a couple times. And now this level, the highway level, you might sort of recognize some of the uh, imagery here. That's a callback to Mega Man X. Yeah, we'll get to see this stage twice in this run, actually. Sadly, I wish we could skip it the second time. <laughs> but this stage, this homage is really cool. Yeah, and this is the last intro stage, and then we can start the uh, main bosses. Yeah, this is kind of a second intro stage. So we kind of didn't start the game yet. Yeah, so, so here we even have the B mini bosses from the Mega Man X intro stage. And you want to make sure when you finish it off that you're uh, off to the side of the screen so that you don't fall in the pit and have to climb back out. So this next boss fight will be just like the last two. We pretty much already know what the boss is going to do. And I didn't say exactly how RNG works, but even though it resets when we get a load screen, the RNG in this game rolls for every frame. So these first boss fights are pretty easy to manipulate because they already are set to choose an attack on the same time every time. So the RNG seed will be always the same. And you can see a measure here is just manipulating the boss with his movements. Okay, so now we've unlocked Model ZX, the namesake of the game. Um, it's it keeps the, uh, it loses the double charge shot, but it keeps the, the stronger of the two charge shots, and you get an entire saber move set, which is really good. And this model is basically the most well-rounded in the game. Yeah, ZX has a really good combo ability. Just topped off by his HX. I think he actually has the same potential of combo, right? Yeah, it's uh, more or less got the same combos. Um, so the, the Saber's got a couple different moves. You know, you've got your triple slash on the ground and your aerial slashes, and you've got the rolling slash in the air. And um, when you combine them, you can do uh, certain combos. This game has a pretty uh, cool combo system, actually. Basically, the way it works is um, each attack has a priority value it's assigned, and... Um, Oh, and right there, he was trying to go for what we call niceless. It's, you know, it's super hard, but you can actually make it up there from the wall. But it's, it's super hard. But yeah, yeah it for saves four seconds, I think, and it's quite, it's harder than niceless if you know me. My next, go on. Yeah, because because otherwise you have to wait for that little platform to come down. Um, so yeah, for the combo system, it's uh, every time you hit the boss, it gets ninety frames of uh, invulnerability. But if you um, hit it with another attack that has a higher priority value, you can continue hurting it. And so, but that's basically how the combos work. So, like, for example, um, the triple slash, the first hit has a lower value than the next hit, and which has a lower value than the next hit. Um, and there's they, the values actually go up to 224 from zero. Um, so, there are a lot of uh, potential combos you can do in this game between all the different forms. Yeah, and ZX even has the spin slash that you can just combo until that number, right? Yeah, the, the spin slash goes from... Technically, it can go from 80 to... 
Um, I can't remember the highest value, but it can technically hit 128 times. But uh, <laughs> realistically, you can only hit like several times before you land. So this mini boss, I'm um, actually doing a trick that he just wiggles with the charge slash, and that way he can get more hits with the same charge saber. Yeah, basically you take the you hit the boss with the hitbox, and then you pivot to move the hitbox out of the boss, and then you pivot back to move it back into the boss and. Um, if, if you're really fast, wiggling left around the D-pad, then you can get a lot of hits in, in one attack. So we didn't mention, but when we got, got CX, we got access to four stages. Each stage is from an element from the Zero series. So right now we are on the Thunder stage. And the other elements are Flame, Ice, and Neutral. But the reason we are on the turn, Thunder stage first is because when we beat this boss, we unlock a, another model which is HX, which is by far the most, the strongest model in this game. Mm -hmm. And so when he attacks this boss, he needs to make sure not to hit those uh, wings in the back, because, uh, and there we go, got a level four finish. Nice. Because if, if you hit the wings at all, then you get a lower level finish, level four is the highest, and you get we uh, less weapon energy in model HX, and it's super important to have as much model energy as possible on HX. And you're going to want some too for most of the other forms, though it's not quite as important. Yeah, for for Mario HX, we we want a level weight total with its max energy bar, but with Mario FX and and LX, we don't want as much. There's level five or six fine, and Mario PX we don't run, don't use on the speed run, so we don't care about the level of the fights. Yeah, so um, basically now that we have Model HX, um, all these bosses are, most of these fights are only going to be like two seconds long because uh, with combos, well basically, so um, Model HX and the other three models besides ZX, they have something that ZX doesn't called Overdrive, which is um, normally elements are only applied to your charge attacks um, for those models, but with Overdrive, you can apply element to all of your attacks, and all of your attacks do double damage, which means that if you are attacking a boss um, of your weakness, or th that is weak to your element, then you do quadruple damage. And so with proper combos, just the bosses just go down instantly. So right now we're going through the highway again, and to reach the next flame stage, and this would be a good time for some donations. Absolutely, we have a $25 donation from Mikenyan saying, so thrilled to see my favorite game of all time back at GDQ. Can't think of a better way to mark the end of the awful block and the return to awesome. Shout outs to Iki and Meta on comms. Can't wait to watch Amisho kill it out there. Donation can go to the runner's choice of incentive. And I will tell you what the runner's choice is, is the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Bonus Wave 3 courses, uh, which has a $100,000 uh, top part uh, top end of it, and that's to show the Wave 3 courses along with everything else in the bonus game. Shout out to Mike. He's sh uh, showing a lot of new players the uh, cool combos and stuff, especially with the uh, Model HX that you can do in this game. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to see on this stage. This stage is kind of a showcase of how good HX is, not only by the movement, but by its damage potential. Yeah, so um, just for people who aren't familiar with the Zero and ZX games, they have an element triangle. Um, el uh, electric beats fire, which beats ice, which beats electric. Um, so that's part of the reason why uh, we're going to be using electric for this stage and the boss. Um, it it's Some people think it's a weird triangle, but the good thing is that it's consistent across all the Zero and ZX games, so you always know what to expect. Yeah, you may have noticed at the start of stage the enemies are kind of red, so meaning they are of the flame type, so they are weak to HX. And that's the reason we are using Overdrive to clear them faster, because those toddy enemies have a lot of HP. Yeah, they do. And so with Overdrive, you get the, uh, the quadruple damage against them, which is really helpful, especially with the Air Slash, which normally isn't super powerful, but with Overdrive is extremely powerful. 
Yeah, if you if overdrive wasn't a thing, we only would be using ZX for the run. Because yeah, back in the day, we actually used ZX for a lot of fights, but nowadays we just use ZX for most of the fights. Yeah, ZX is a good kind of model to just fall back to, but uh, w once you get really efficient with things, HX is just so good. You see with those dashes, it, it can uh, air dash both sideways and upwards, um, and it's just it's super fun to play. We just, now we just saved some civilians and the 8th floor is open, we can progress onto the stage. And two screen from now is the quick kill, so you better not blink. Because Swiss Leo dies really fast. Yeah. Um, I guess one thing we can explain is uh, there's a mechanic in this game called you know wall climb cancel, which normally when you uh, jump up a wall, the game kind of has an animation that pushes you away from the wall for a couple frames. But if you override the animation with an attack, then uh, you can you basically just go straight up. You don't get pushed away, and you can jump as much as you need. So you're going to be seeing him spamming the attack button as he jumps up walls. Very clean fight. Perfect. He uh, got a really fast kill and a level 4, so full energy. Yeah, getting level 4 in this fight, doing this optimal fight, is, is not easy. Because you have to be on a specific positions to not hit his head. And his head is his weakness. And... Uh, you can explain how the weakness adds damage to the combo. <laughs> it's really negligible. Yeah, it adds like one damage to the combo, so it's uh, pretty much almost never worth it. Yeah, except it's for like, not... yeah, except for it's like not... the Model P bosses, which we don't care about their energy because we don't use Model PX. Yeah, game. but it's one damage to to the whole combo and not per hit. So <laughs> yeah. sadly, we can't unlock new fights with it. It's just we just ignore it. Yeah, so um, we, we just unlocked Model FX, though uh, we're still going to be in Model HX for a minute here just because the movement's so good. Um, but Model HX, it's based on Harpuya from the Zero Series and its electric element. Model FX is based on Fefnir from the Zero Series and its fire element. And uh, Model HX has sabers and Model FX has these uh, busters. They're kind of heavy duty busters. You know, normally Mega Man shoots out as little lemons. We call these oranges. Um, and you can't if you can't walk while shooting them, so that's why he's going to be jumping a lot while uh, shooting them, so he can continue moving forward. And it can yes. also punch. Yeah, that's the reason you're already using effects on this stage because effects can clear out some of the ice cubes. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to go through this route. Yeah, you can see him using overdrive there to, which applies the fire element to the oranges and uh, melts through those ice cubes and later we'll, we'll be seeing some of its uh, its charge attack is a punch that shoots a fireball so compared to the last gdq run from this game back then in 2016 from tiki uh tiki did a another route that was called the flame of third which is a little bit slower but it has a safer lure stage because right now we're doing the rare third and it's riskier because we need energy drops for FX during this stage to clear the ice cubes and to do the boss fight. Yeah, this uh, fight here, you're gonna see, he's gonna stand inside of the boss and pretty much beat it instantly using a mechanic where basically, normally most attacks only hit an enemy once, but if you have two hitboxes hitting the enemy at the same time, then they'll both damage every frame. Um, and so he used HX's triple slash, which sends out a projectile and also has a slash built into it. Um, so it basically just does a lot of damage to that boss and beats it instantly. Yeah, we call that damage stacking. And yeah. you can do that on the Zero Series as well. So right now is the rare fight and it's one of the hardest fights in my opinion. And yeah, normally, this boss is a giant anglerfish. And normally we wouldn't be able to kill a ice boss with only one combo, but take a look at this. Nice. So good. We can't, can't even see the fish. Yeah, 
it basically uh, this boss is an anglerfish and the little boss you saw was just like its little antenna and a gigantic fish comes out when you break it but uh he beat it while it was still off screen <laughs> yeah so how this boss works we do a two oranges into two punches and the second punch has to hit her head which is her weak spot and when you hit her head with a lot of damage and a punch with overdrive there's a lot of damage the anglerfish will come out with this, its mouth open. So we can shoot inside its mouth to do more damage and clear her in one combo. Alright, so um, the we, we briefly mentioned how the missions work earlier. And uh, um, so basically you start out with four missions, one for each model. And once you complete the first mission of the model, you unlock the second mission. Um, so this is the second HX mission, and we're doing a shortcut. Yeah, a very dangerous. He saw we uh, needed to damage boost to uh, land on those spikes and punch through that wall, which is a special thing that only this model can do. Which is uh, part of the reason we don't do the first two HX stages right away. And the other reason is because of LX here, which um, will beat the boss really quickly. Yeah, FX can clear every wall but that was a breakable wall that you can clear the spikes with a cannon to the right but it's faster to just damage boost and punch it yeah normally you have to do this whole stage and there's like a really hard mini boss or like a mini boss that can take a while and uh but this that skips most of the stage oh, oh no oh no 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 <laughs> oh my yeah, god this is really bad <laughs> yeah uh if you, no. each boss, when it's below half health, it uh, unlocks a new desperation move. And for some of them, it is a really long uh, move where it's invulnerable. And that's what we got there. Um, yeah, normally we would see this boss for two seconds, but I managed to miss one of the combos and it didn't do enough damage to kill her in two combos. Yeah. And uh, Model LX doesn't have a lot of options for combos. It's it's very simple, um, which I think is part of the appeal of it. But it's 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 only combo, essentially is uh, air slash to ground slash, um, but uh, or the charge slash into ground slash. Yeah, and you can charge slash to power them up a little bit, but uh, just one of those things slipped there. But it's okay. There. Oh, and here we see another part of LX, which is fun, which is it's a charge attack makes a platform um, and you can jump on it for basically a double jump. Yeah. Good thing we still got a level 4 for Huicon. So right now we have level 8 on HX, which is really good for the speedrun. Yeah, and this part is basically just mashing with uh, FX to clear away these enemy crates. Yeah, this game we have access to two buttons for attacks. So the attacks of effects are both the same, they just shoot oranges. And potentially we can get 60 Hz meshing, and that's why the Taz is crazy with this model. Yeah, this uh, model FX, um, one attack button does its left hand and one attack button does its right hand. And so uh, this, this is uh, the this intermission, has... by the way. Okay, yeah. Yeah, we didn't explain that. After we beat four bosses, we get this intermission. And this boss is super cool, but sadly we won't be seeing much of him because he's weak to model HX. Yeah, there's a really nice manipulation at the start. Luckily we can uh, buffer our inputs during the transformation wheel, so that the manipulation is really free. Yeah, so that he always lands on the ground there, or does his ground attack as his first attack, which lets you get your full combo off on him. Which uh, HX's full combo, um, which you can do, is air slash to walking slash to triple slash. And it's the same for ZX, and um, we'll be seeing that for, you know, beating a lot of these bosses. Oh, and this yeah. mechanic, um, it's, do we call it soya dashing or something? <laughs> because of yeah, what she so says. It's, it's basically like, um, normally you can just uh, dash jump into air dash. But uh, it can be slightly faster if you do this, like attack during it, and it, it's a really tight window. Um, it's actually pretty hard to get consistently, but uh, it can make it a bit faster if you do it a lot. Yeah, in my opinion, this is not worth it. But 
I'm not sure it's pretty good at the game. Yeah. I think it's a three win three frame window, and if you miss the window, your air dash is slow just like that. And if you hit it, it's a five train five frame save. But if you miss it, you miss quite a lot more frames. So in my opinion, it wasn't worth it, but Amesha is practicing and he's showing how he, he can do it consistently. Yeah, I gotta save those frames. And so uh, this boss is one of the double bosses that the series is known for. Um, but again, we don't see much of it because it's weak to Ajax. Yeah, and this mini boss is just right after a load screen, so he always opens up with this attack. So right now on this stage, we on this next screen, we'll get a lava wave chasing us, which is instant kill. The lava on the ground also is instant kill, and those lava pillars are also instant kill. So this stage, if you are on, are not on good on movement, those lava pillars will be off with your timing, and it can be quite scary. Yeah, you you can neutralize the pillars with um. Oh, that's so close. Yeah, uh, you can you can scary. neutralize them with an electric attack, but uh, yeah, he managed to avoid all of them without having to attack any. And we and can see HX is quite slow on energy here. We would want more. For Flame Mode, it's enough. But from now on, we really want HX to be always full whenever we can. Yeah, we're going to be praying for RNG to uh, let most of the little enemies drop weapon energy um, throughout the run. Yeah, energy, bro uh, energy drops see, are the most important factor of RNG in this game. Yeah, the, the game doesn't give you um, very much naturally. Like, you can see the, the station doesn't automatically refill it or anything. So you uh, really need those um, drops from enemies. And like so, this section here is a... Uh, we're kind of going on a little trek, and this is when we're really hoping for some item drops. Yeah, we're doing the interstage right now to go to another stage. And we are hoping for drops, and we are hoping for some donations. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I have a $50 donation from Chaotic Crow saying, I love the Mega Man Zero and ZX games, amazing art and gameplay. Then followed up with The World Ends With You? We're in for an awesome time. And we have a $50 donation from Sadukana saying, Good morning from Texas, Amija san. Good luck on the run, and let's have another great day of working to beat cancer. We just saw we just got a big drop. We didn't get very many drops, but at the end we just got a big green drop. So uh, a lot of energy there. Yeah, and if we are getting energy with a full model, the energy will go to the other models in the back, and the other order, the prior charger for the energy refill is quite convenient for us. It's HX, then FX, then LX, then PX, and is exactly the order we would choose for the speed run. Yeah, it's pretty convenient. But uh, this part can be pretty scary, dashing through these spikes. I die every time I try to do that. <laughs> it took me years to not get scared to that. <laughs> and this boss, uh, we're going to open up this boss with a manipulation. Um, so it's a new uh, loading zone, and he's going to do a little charge attack there, which manipulates the boss so that it always uh, brings out this right tentacle. Because this boss can be annoying because it has an attack where it sends out little fish. Um, this attack. This attack. And um, the fish aren't related to its HP, so it basically Another is one. just stalling. Yeah, this is this is what you hope this not to really see. This is really bad, yeah. And we'll get to see the power of tentacles later on another stage, because this one we can manipulate, but the next one we won't be able to. Yeah, it's very unfortunate. More scary spikes, and now we're going to fight Leginker. We're gonna fight a very big boss here. It's like a giant jellyfish guy. But, yeah, uh, Leginker will showcase how FX doesn't have a really good combo ability because we have to use two combos against him. Yeah, it's a pretty simple combo, but it's powerful enough to do the job. 
So right after this boss, we have to go back to the transfer to report this mission, and we could go backwards on this stage, which is actually faster by two seconds. But it's not only harder, but uh, we also don't get a lot of energy drops during the left route, so we'll be doing right route here. Yeah, right pretty here much you any can see there's an energy drop. Yeah, pretty much anywhere where there's one of those that's you know, not too big of a detour. That's going to be pretty desirable. And this stage is done as one of the last stage for a reason. Because, like I mentioned before, uh, right after this stage we'll get access only to a red trans server. So that meaning that if we do this stage, we'll have to do the intro twice. Just to come here and then just to go back. And in the middle of the intro stage, there's another two stages we want to go, and they are the Model P stages, which we don't care about. So that's the reason those three stages are done last. Yeah, and th this is uh, pretty close to the um, first Model P stage. It, it, it's kind of screws with the routing a bit. Um, the fact that there are no teleporting trans servers around this area, but yeah, uh, it kinda kind of works out. Yeah, you're, we are kind of forced to do these three stages, one along the other. So. Yeah. And we don't want them early on the, the route as well, so that's why they are the last three. Yeah, and we will be coming back to this cave uh, one last time after we finish all the stages um, during the end game. And right now we are praying for more energy drops and doing the interstage stage again, so it's a good time for some more donations. Absolutely, we have a $10 donation from Dian Keto saying, Go Amisha, go! Good luck from the ZX Speedrun community. Let's make it a fun showcase of this awesome game. And I have a $50 donation from Lady of the Kit Fox saying, Let's keep up the challenge, because who needs those fancy shields when you have skill? That is referencing the Boomerang X No Shield Zone incentive, where we've got about $1,500 out of $10,000 to make that run even harder. So awesome. right now we are on the amusement park. Uh, Amesh is doing a little energy farm route. Yeah, just a tiny little detour there, um, but it can be well worth it for that energy. And uh, so up ahead we're going to be fighting the mini boss, the big Met, um, and he's already charging up his attack for it. And we actually do a manipulation right here, where if you get in two full dashes, then you can make sure that the boss um, kind of Make, exposes itself immediately rather than doing its uh, invulnerable attack. Yeah, this guy can waste a lot of time. But thankfully, we have the manipulation. And this next room, this this whole next room here, is kind of a scary one for a lot of players. Um, because, uh, I mean, there's all these little bugs here that can crash into you. Um, especially at the end, there's a big pit with a lot of those bugs. So uh, you got to make sure to know where those bugs are so you can maneuver around them. And this next boss fight is the reason we are using a check slot. Yeah. And if you get hit by any of those bugs, you lose your air dash, so you're basically uh, dead. Very nice. Perfect. Yeah, that, is, that boss has a pretty specific uh, pattern if you want to get a good kill on it. Yeah, it's, for it's, a long it's, while, we played, we fight, we fought him with ZX, and we, it was pretty random because with Spin Slashes, we can't manipulate the boss because we can't consistently do the same damage every time. But with HX, it's pretty easy. We already know what he's going to do. Yeah, and um, th this boss and this next boss are the Model P bosses, which we don't use in the speedrun, so it's fine if we hit the uh, the weak point. Yeah, Protectus will actually get a, a lot of hits on his belly. Yeah. He uh, is slower than this boss was, so we'll be using the tornado on him, which does a lot of damage. And right and now we are doing this stage backwards, because the Protectus stage is actually inside the entrance to protect stage is actually inside this stage. Yeah. 
if you saw a door earlier inside of like a big panda or teddy bear or something or a um, penguin or uh, it's I, yeah. I don't know why uh, how it's set yeah i don't know if it's like changed on version or something no i, I i'm pretty sure it's last run i his last run it was a bear it was like a different bear <laughs> yeah i don't know i guess the it. yeah we didn't mention but i'm actually playing on the zx collection and maybe it changes i don't know you know, but yeah, this stage is, um, it's pretty much just a straight shot, but it's, uh, there's a lot in that shot there. <laughs> that was a very dangerous yeah. strat he just did. Almost got That's crushed, really risky. but, uh, saves a little bit of time. Um, but yeah, this stage, it's mostly just, like, going forward, but there are just so many enemies. And in the second half of the stage, there's just missiles raining from the sky, and it's, uh, it's a pretty intense stage. It's really chaotic, and those raiders we don't want to hit because the red ones uh, remove our ability to use attacks, and the blue ones they remove our dash and reverse our deep pad inputs. Yeah, so especially those blue ones are uh, really bad to hit. They slow you down a little big time. Yeah, and this screen, if you slow down just a little bit, your missile cycles will be off, and you're gonna be bumping a lot of missiles. Yeah. So uh, you, you definitely don't want your rhythm to get thrown off for the, this stage. Yeah, this is probably one of the hardest stage, along with the high vote stage. But now we're through it, and it's just the boss, which this boss can, is actually kind of can be more dangerous, even though we destroy it, because uh, you kind of have to be close to him to get your full combo, and he does a lot of contact damage. But that As was you great. can see, Amesh only took one one hit against its body, and it was quite a lot of HP. But yeah, he, uh, that was a really great kill, and it's only level one, but that's uh, to our advantage because we're not yeah. going to be using Model PX. Sadly, we don't see Model PX, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, it's my favorite model. It's basically like a ninja model. <laughs> So right now, we just beat all the 8 Pseudorites, and we are going to the end game. Yeah, we just gotta take a quick trip here to the Guardian HQ, and then we can um, head back to that cave I mentioned earlier, um, and uh, get started with the end game. But yeah. uh, we'll probably be able to fit a bunch of donations in here. Yeah, you can go on until we reach the cave. The cave. All right, we have a $75 donation from CF saying, love Mega Man X and all the games that it spawned. We also have a $25 donation from Alpaca saying, greetings from Finland. I want to thank all the crew that is working behind the scenes to keep the runs going fast, sound going where it should, and all sorts of other things we may not even know about. We have a $100 donation from Schnudadol, saying great event great people great cause keep on fighting cancer greetings from germany we also have a train of some no comment donations we have a 50 dollars donation from anonymous with no comment a 50 dollars donation from a pathetic dino you are not pathetic but thank you for that donation uh we have a 25 dollars donation from taylor with no comment and we have a 10 dollars donation from Biaz Larat with no comment. Thank you so much for all of those. Nice. So right now we're right off the, at the start of the stage, there is a mini boss that we thought for a moment that we could manipulate, but this next star isn't a load screen. So this next boss is random. But we did get to see, we're gonna see a special ability of Model FX, which you just saw, which you can actually customize the uh, kind of direction that the uh, its bullets go. And so we're gonna use this so that we can, you know, just take out this boss real quick without having to jump around or anything. Nice. That was very lucky actually, because the this eagle, just like a Mega Man X eagle, can dive around and waste a lot of time. Yeah. And I, I don't know if that one's specifically, re um, probably not a reference to Mega Man X, but this game has a lot of references to Mega Man X. Um, we saw the Central Highway earlier with the bees and everything, um, but there was also each of the four models here has a charge attack that is 
pretty identical to a charge attack from Mega Man X. So like this guy has the Storm Tornado. Um, oh, I'm gonna interrupt myself because yeah, this, this room. Is water it, skip. Yeah, this is uh, like the most dangerous room in the game. Let's go! Let's and he got go. it. Nice. Awesome. <laughs> That's a scary one. That skip is really scary. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but um, to continue what I was saying, so you got the Storm Tornado with this guy. You got the uh, Charge Flame Wave with Model FX, though I don't think we use it. Um, you've got the Ice Sled from uh, with Model LX, and you've got sort of the Charge Rolling Shield with Model PX. So some more extra references. Yeah, the special move from Front FX is used on the Flame of Third route against the miniboss, but sadly we don't get to see it here. Yeah. It's really good for mini bosses, but it like does like one damage versus bosses. <laughs> I also like to mention how similar the stories of the runners are from this GDQ compared to the last time ZX ones on GDQ. Because last time Tiki ran it and he picked up the game like a few months before and he had the world record by the, the GDQ run and I'm actually just the same. He came, com comes out of nowhere, gets the world record and he beat himself already nine times. So my time right now is the second place on the leaderboards, which is a 51.33 I think. And his time is a 50.04, he's really close to a 49. Yeah, and he just got that like two days ago, so uh, yes. we're going to be most likely passing, beating the 50-minute uh, mark, you know, pretty much any day now with the rate how much he was going. Yeah, we do use in-game time in this game because the in-game time here is really good. It's always rolling. Uh, the only time it doesn't roll is obviously during boat spins, but everything else, every time it's rolling, and. It's, that's a sad reason, actually, because we have to skip credits, but because it keeps keeps going during the credits. But it's easy to compare a lot of consoles. And back in the day, we only had in, uh, Nintendo DS and emulator, and Nintendo DS had lost a lot of real time to loading screens. Yeah, but it, it makes it a lot easier to. Uh... You know, just get in with the speed runs and just see what your time is without having to set up a splits or anything. And so here's that second tentacle boss, and th uh, as you can see, there was no uh, loading screen before it, so uh, there's no way to manipulate this RNG. And then yeah, it will do this attack to stall you out. Yeah, the blue tentacles don't take any damage, so we don't want to see them. And you can see its health actually on that little screen on the left. Um, that's HX's special kind of uh, thing. Each of the four models has a special little subscreen thing. And HX can see a boss's health as well as a weak spot. So right now we are fighting Prometheus and Pandora. And the coolest sadly for boss fight in the bait game. <laughs> but sadly for Pandora, we don't get to see her. Because Prometheus is weak to HX. Uh oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> good. Now we are in for the final mission. Um, we're going to see our familiar boss refights, um, and then the final boss. And this mission, it's actually um, so most of the stage is actually an elevator, which is a problem because it means um, you can only have a limited number of enemies between bosses to restore your energy with, and th there's no uh, automatically given. Uh, health and energy drops like in most of the other games um, after each boss so uh, energy management is a huge thing for this final stage yeah in this run we were quite unlucky with energy as you, we can see HX isn't even close to full it's halfway through but we really wanted more than that and yeah, we want as much energy as we can get we also want energy for Model FX and LX. I don't remember how they are, but right now we will be using Model LX against the Thunder bosses. Well, I know LX is good. I'm not sure about FX, but uh, hopefully it'll be able to restore some um, on this next uh, elevator section. And we get to fight High Volt with LX, and this fight is pretty cool. Nice. 
Gates. We Very saw nice. a little bit more of the combo. It's got a... You can send out this little Ice Dragon and then do the Air Slash to Ground Slash. And then you just need to do one more Slash. Um, and and he has a unique little thing where he gets knocked out of the sky with the Ice Attacks. Oh yeah, that, that attack Hyvo just did after getting hit is a unique attack he does only when he's hit by his weakness. There we go. That, that's how that fight was supposed to go the first time. Yeah. Um, but we got to see a clean one this time. So right now we already equip equipped model effects because destroying enemies with bullets doesn't stop the doesn't slow down the game because when we hit enemies with swords it kind of gives a hit stop and the game slows down it slows down for a few frames yeah and being so. able to shoot upwards is pretty convenient for this elevator oh if we had a sword model we could have slashed those in zx there's a yeah. special mechanic where um large drops you can slash them and they split into smaller drops of um multiple varieties Okay, so this fight is the same, but I think it's quite harder, actually. <laughs> nice. nice. Yeah, the the RNG, even though the um, since there's a skip between or before the boss, um, it's always the same. It's usually different from the original boss fight, so you kind of have to learn a different pattern for the refights than for the original fights. And you also have your bullets ed edited to the for the, the fight, so. Oh yeah, it's that can make harder. things more difficult. And uh, it takes too much time to edit them back. And now we can retire Model X and FX. We won't be seeing them anymore. Yeah, we're, we're going to be wanting to use uh, pretty much HX for the rest of the bosses if we can, uh, if we have enough energy for it. Yeah, ideally we will we'll use HX against every boss that remains in this game. But if we don't get lucky, we won't be able to do that. So yeah, it's all about energy management. Um, if things do go wrong, we can switch to ZX, which uh, can do some pretty good damage to bosses too, just uh, doesn't quite meet up to HX. Yeah, ZX is actually a pretty good backup to when you don't have energy or when you mess up RNG. And that there actually is a way to get a, a W tank in this game, sort of like the E tank from the classic games, that restores your weapon energy. But um, <laughs> you, you have to like go to the special room and then deal a thousand damage to this little like hanging doll enemy. Um, so it's a uh, definitely not worth it in the speed run. Yeah, I actually never thought of using it on the speed run, but yeah, there's no way you can fit it on the run. Sadly, they would mitigate a lot of RNG. Yeah, at this point, we. Okay, go on. Oh, yeah, we, we basically don't care about um, model energy because we're not using the. or uh, level, I mean. Um, because technically, you can still improve your model's level by getting a better level kill on the boss um, in the refights. But, you know, we're not using those models anymore, so it uh, doesn't matter. So during this elevator ride, I just want to do some shout outs. Uh, shout outs to MegamanLeaderboards.net. If you want to find our Mega Man ZX Dream Team Discord, also shout out to Mega Man ZX Dream Team. Mm -hmm. You can go to MegamanLeaderboards.net and you can find ways uh, to practice this game and learn all the strategies. And also shout out to the Zero and ZX collection that makes it easier for us to play this game. And uh, brought a big uh, resurgence in the game slightly. Very nice. nice. This fight is quite different from the first one because, like Meta mentioned before, the energy is quite different on refights. Re so this fight is a lot harder because you have to move right away when the first the fight starts, and we don't have buffers for that. 
Yeah, that purple refight gives a lot of people trouble. And here we have just enough HP to oh. damage boost. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, that one always scares me. And now Those all that's left fights. is the final boss. Those two fights, if you mess one damage boost, they they are over. And thankfully, I actually got a an E-Tank as safety on this run. This is a really good little manipulation, by the way. Let's get an energy drop. But normally, oh. we wouldn't have an E-Tank, a sub-tank here. So if you mess one of these fights, the run's over. Yeah, he, he grabbed a sub-tank earlier. Luckily, there's one that's just a couple seconds uh, out of the way, um, really early on in the run. Um, so that's, that's a really nice safety finish. net for uh, most runs. You'll be able to see HX shine. Doing some Street Fighter here. Nice. Never even used his uppercut. <laughs> yeah. Not only HX is just faster because of the damage potential, but we get consistent damage, so we can we know every attack the boss is going to do. This first phase we can also manipulate, but right now it's just, just random. Yeah, we're uh, I'm just going to be tornadoing this guy a lot. Yeah, like this is Ooh. unlucky, we are wasting time here. Yeah, and he, he has three phases that are tied to his health bars, and we're going to want to prepare for time here. Or Does time end right when he dies? Yes. Okay, and so time now. Very nice. That last phase, he can go invincible, so we were yeah. left there. He, he, and when he, uh, he'll close his little weak point to do an attack. Now let's see what our time was. Nice. Sub, Casually sub getting 51. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, nice. do you want to do any parting words, Meta? <sighs> uh, what was that? Do you want to say anything at the end, Bruno? <laughs> um, uh, I, I don't know. I guess... Uh, you know, shout out to Amashio showing up on the scene and blazing through. Um, and it's really nice to see uh, this game at GDQ again. So shout out to GDQ. And uh, especially being back here in commentary, you get to see all the work that they do um, setting things up. Um, and, you know, shout out to the community. This game has a pretty uh, dedicated community um, of people. That Since the game is a lot of fun, um, just playing combos for fun, and uh, there's just a lot to do, and yeah. And um, Namesh, do you have any last words? Go on, Namesh. Is he connected? He is a Japanese native speaker, so. Yeah. You want to say a... Uh, uh, Few things at the end. He wanted to thank the GDQ staff, and he's happy to show a really good run. A sub 51 is a really good run, and that is. AO is his favorite character. All right, that was an amazing run. Thank you so much for that. We have a $25 donation from M Wizard saying, always love seeing Mega Man at GDQ and love seeing all these participants getting together to prove hope doesn't ride alone. Well, you're not going to be riding alone into this next break, so hydrate and get ready for some more GDQ. We'll be back right after this.
You are watching Awesome Games Done Quick 2023 online. Let's get some donations while we're waiting for the next game to come in. We have a $100 donation from SSJ100 Matt. I see what you did there. Hey, GDQ, thank you for putting on such an awesome event every year for a great cause. Let's dash our way to kicking cancer's butt. Go Amizio. Yes, that was a great run uh, from uh, for, of Mega Man ZX that we just saw. We have a $250 donation from Blackguard that says, remember to check your employment benefits for donation matching to double your assistance to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. That's a very good point because uh, I read a donation a couple hours ago. Somebody thought they were being a bad bean by watching at work, but maybe your work can help as well. So check with HR, or check your employee manual uh, so you can double the assistance to the Prevent Cancer Foundation. We have a $100 donation from Rebecca Consugar saying, let's kick cancer's butt. We have a $50 donation from Harris said, felt bad for winning a bet against a friend, so decided to give my winnings to charity. And we have a $10 donation from Arrow Coconut saying, sent. This donation is for the Magical Prize Wizard and his glorious presentations. Long may he present prizes. Sense contributions to the marathon. Give me life. Nice dab. Keep up the great work, Sent. And with that, my time here on Awesome Games Done Quick 2023 uh, is coming to a close. I have had a wonderful time here at the marathon. Maybe I'll see you again at a future marathon, but don't worry. We're going to go to prizes and we're going to learn about some of the prizes. And then Mr. Game and Shout is going to be here to take you through if the world ends with you or not. So let's go see uh, Shine a Lamp on some prizes. What do you got for us? Hello and good morning, everyone. I hope you all are enjoying Awesome Games Done Quick 2023. My name is Frozen Flygon, and I'm here to talk about some of the amazing prizes we have available now. Right off the bat, I just want to tell you that if you put in $25 now, you'll be entered into win all of the things available during this prize block. And then, of course, we have some $50 day prizes that you'll want to get in before the end of the day. And we have our World Ends With You final remix run coming up, and I'm, I'm so excited for that. We have this incredible uh, Mr. Mew plush. Uh, for any cheeky fans out there, this is absolutely essential. It is a $25 minimum donation, and the quality of this plushie is just fantastic. It's it's so it's, it's just such a friend it's so friend shaped everyone loves little cats it helps you out and the world ends with you and want to make sure you get your 25 dollars in now before the end of the legend of zelda skyward sword to be entered into win thank you so much pin cushion cat plushies for this and they also made the whooper the fan favorite whooper from yesterday so i know you all have been loving these plushies so much and i do as well we have some other just fantastic the world ends with you prizes uh we you know, keeping with the uh, the Shiki theme here, we have the World Ends With You Shiki Mizaki doll. Uh, not not here in the studio with us, but you can see a picture of it on the screen now and at gamesdonequick.com. It also comes with its own little Mr. Me right there. And thank you so much to Black Star's Needlework for that $10 minimum donation will get you into win. And we have some incredible pins from Ihu Watson, who always makes such high quality pins. We've got the protagonist, Neku, and the new protagonist from Neo, The World Ends With You that just came out. Still need to play that one, but I uh, absolutely love these games. Both of the protagonists are standing in front of the 104 building and the quality of these pins is just fantastic. Again, Ihu Watson, thank you so much for providing these prizes for us. $10 minimum donation. We also have some Zelda themed prizes here. We've had, you know, a few Zelda runs throughout the marathon. We have Skyward Sword coming up. I know we're all really excited for that. We have this fantastic candle set, and it comes as a set of four to there's one for each of the four abilities you gain throughout Breath of the Wild. I have two here. I have the Mifa's Grace and Urbosa's Fury. And so they're all they're they're colored nicely, themed after the different uh, abilities that you get, nice and colored. The quality of these candles is just fantastic, and I love the the etching on the sides so reminiscent of Breath of the Wild. Those are from Fandlemonium. $10 minimum donation gets you into the entire set of four. We also have this delightful uh, link with a shovel perler. 
Uh, you know, any fans of Cadence of Hyrule, got a little reference there to Cadence. Uh, $10 minimum donation. This perler was provided to us by Pearl Pop. I, I really love Link's uh, expression here. It's such a unique uh, pose for him. And so, yeah, this is a $10 minimum donation. Thank you again, Pearl Pop. Be sure to get that in before the end of the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword run. And I'm a little bit biased towards this prize, but I really enjoy this Dangerous to Go Alone tote bag. You know, the classic scene from Zelda 1, which I actually got to play this year. It is just fantastic. I think it is it's such a perfect size for bringing your laptop or any consoles with you when you're going places. And of course, you know, the classic quote from the game. So $10 minimum donation. Thank you so much, Geekish Gifts, for giving this prize to us for the marathon. Continuing with the Zelda stuff, we have this adorable uh, Hylian Shield pillow. It's super squishy. Uh, this was donated to us by Iggy Zig. $10 minimum donation. And, you know, you can, you can sleep with the comfort of the Triforce protecting you. Thank you so much for this prize. $10 minimum donation. Be sure to get that in. And, of course, when you donate you get automatically entered into winning prizes as long as you donate at the correct amount. And you can also put that towards some of our incredible incentives we have coming up. We have character names. We have other things we're trying to unlock. And of course, we want to make sure we get to that $1 million today to unlock the Mario Kart bonus game. So let's keep pushing for that. And we're gonna, we just continue to have so many fantastic Zelda prizes you can see here on the couch. We've been watching it uh, tick as it goes. This Majora's Mask Clock Town Shadow Box. So first of all, we have the clock that is, you know, moving and taking just, it's, it's incredible. It's an actual clock set up here in the style from Majora's Mask. And it is just the scene of Link. You, you basically, it's just like, oh no, we're running out of time. We got to get out of here. And I just, the depth of field of vision in this is fantastic. It comes with its frame, of course. And I just, this $25 minimum donation for such a one of a kind prize for any, you know, Zelda lovers, Majora's Mask fans. I, I can't talk enough about how much I think this is such a, such a unique prize. And I thank you so, so much to Esclair Studios for sending that out to us. Another very unique prize. So we have a Master Sword Diorama pin. Uh, this one is really, really interesting. So it, it has the Triforce on the outside and then you open it on up and it has you know, just the Master Sword in the pedestal with this background. I, I don't even really know how you would make this. And that's what makes it so cool to look at this scene and the coloring is just fantastic. $20 minimum donation. Thank you so much, Investigation Code, for providing this prize for us. And I have two more things I want to talk about. $25 minimum donation. That'll get you entered into win these two upcoming prizes, but also everything I've talked about so far. We have the Resin The World Ends With You player pin necklace. So first of all, this is just made entirely of resin. It has the, you know, very iconic pin from when, you know, all of the player pins have this in the game. I love all the pins in The World Ends With You, and this one is no exception. And then, you know, it also is a necklace, and it has AGQ 2022 on the back of it. So I, I think this pin is just so fantastic. Catherine of Spirit Eclipse Studios has provided some gorgeous resin pins throughout the marathon, and we are so, so grateful for that. $25 minimum donation. And we also have a Gigas Metal Print, uh, the boss, boss, you know, in the Mother series, and that was provided to us by Mott. It's, a, it's such a, it's a really large, nice metal print. You can see the photo of it in front and also on Games on the Quick's website. Provided to us by Mott, $25 minimum donation. So wow, we've already talked about just so many prizes that we have available. Got to make sure you get your donations in, put them towards some incentives for things you're excited to see coming on up later in the marathon. And every single donation gets you closer and closer to our three grand prizes. So just a reminder, you need to get $200 by the end of the event. So keep track of how much you've been donating. Make sure you get to 200 because you know you want to be entered into win our SkyTech Gaming PC from our friends at SkyTech Gaming, $200 total. And the specs of all of those, the specs of the computer are on the website, but I know that it is such a fantastic PC. Who doesn't want a new computer right now? That's all I'm saying. And we also have, continuing with our, our Zelda theme here, the Heroic Replicas, Hylian Shield, and your choice of 15 different replicas. You can see the entire list on the website. Uh, but there's, a, there's, there's so many different things that you can make, and Dave from Heroic Replicas always does such a fantastic job bringing those to life. And lastly, our Fallout AER9 Laser Rifle, which I'm sure we're going to be showing off uh, a little in a little bit here. I'm so excited for you all to get to see it. Open Props and Cute Monster Props did such a fantastic job with that. All right, that's everything from me this morning. I know you all are excited to see the world ends with you 
final remix with Kiro and I am too. See you all later and keep enjoying the rest of the event. Thank you so much, Court. Great to see you and great to see some of the amazing things that we are giving away this event. Good morning, everyone. You are watching Awesome Games Done Quick 2023 online, powered by Twitch. I think I got the whole name right. I am Mr. Game and Shout, and I am so amazingly happy to be back with you once more for some speed running awesomeness. Oh, all right. We are getting ready for The World Ends With You. Kuro is getting set up for that. So while we get that one prepared, I want to take a look at some of the donations that we have, some of the incentives that we are working on, and just make sure you all have a sense of where we are at and how things are going. If I can get all of my windows organized here. Okay, so donations. Let's start with... Uh, okay, let's do a $50 donation from Wolf Long. I absolutely have to get that EV diamond painting. Here's $50 for the Boomerang X No Shields run, and of course, the hype! Gotta get those yells in early. Yes, make sure that you are getting your donations in if you want to be eligible for some of these awesome prizes we have. That Evolution Diamond Pixel Art is $50 uh, minimum donations to get in for that. Also, Look at some of the upcoming incentives. When you put in your donation, we are still trying to meet an incentive for that Boomerang X run, the no shields change. We're still about 8,000 away from that. We're going to need that probably right at the start of the run. So we got about three hours, but get donations in. It moves faster than you think. And with that, I've got word that the runner is ready. Kuro, show us what you got. The world ends with you. Let's do it. <laughs> 